Hi everybody, it is Dory. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry for the glare on my glasses. Um, I guess I don't even need them on. Um, I just can't see you guys. I really can't see you guys anyways. Anyway, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a channel that I document my weight loss surgery and my weight loss journey to health. Um, I started this weight loss channel on September 12th of 2016 when I underwent weight loss surgery called vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, it is a weight loss surgery where they go in laparoscopically. I had five small incisions, which are now gone. I don't have any of them, no scarring or anything. Um, and they go in and they remove about 80% of your stomach. Um, and then they just have titanium staples running up and you have what's known as a little pouch. Um, I had to do a pre-op diet to shrink my liver prior to surgery. That's really important. I know a lot of people downplay it, but it actually is really important because it helps the surgeon to maneuver your liver to the side while he goes underneath to cut the stomach. Um, some people have to do a month long surgery. Usually people who have a lot of fat in their abdomen area is what I've been told. I don't have a lot of fat in my abdomen area. Um, so I had to do it for 10 days. Uh, 10 days was, um, crazy. The first four days is really crazy. Um, and so anyhow, so I did that. My highest recorded weight was 350 pounds and that is non-pregnancy weight. Um, I have six children, uh, so I have had a lot of pregnancies. The last four are 10 years old and under, uh, so I had back-to-back -back pregnancies. So 350 is non-pregnancy weight um, that has been recorded. I recently found out that that was my highest. Uh, I used to think 333.5 was my highest, so when you go back on my other videos, that's what you'll hear my highest weight being. But recently I asked my PCP and my gynecologist and they have 350 pounds uh, down as my highest weight. Um, when I had the surgery, on the day of surgery, I was 300.5. And today I am 176.4. Um, I keep fluctuating. I fluctuate to 177 all the way down to 171. Uh, my lowest so far has been 169.6. I'd love to get back there. I'm having a hard time. I've been sick a couple of times and I have a cycle that happens uh, more often than it should. And so I had a um, IUD um, put in, uh, it's the non-copper one. I forgot what you call it, just a hormonal uh, IUD, I believe. And anyways, so I had that put in. That seems to be helping, uh, but it does take up to six months before it regulates everything. It should make my cycle go away, which will be great. Um, so yeah, so I was 176.4, um, this morning and yesterday, and I definitely have been binge eating. I have been more hungry than normal the last couple of days. I think it's because my cycle is going to start up again. Um, but I had Oreos last night and chocolate chip cookies and whatever else, um, chips, Fritos. Um, so I do this probably once every 10 days or something where I feel like I'm starving and I just want to keep eating. But one thing that I have been eating lately that has been sufficing me, and I don't know if anybody out there has done this, but I am craving mustard. I don't know why, yellow, regular mustard. So I bought a pound of chicken breast at the deli um, it's just the, um, uh, like baked chicken breast or whatever. It's really good. Very healthy, hardly any carbs. I think maybe for three or four ounces, it's maybe a half a carb or one carb, or I don't know, maybe no carbs, but, um, it's been really my go-to. So I just take mustard and I put it in the middle of the piece of deli meat and I just roll it up and that has been hitting the spot like you wouldn't believe. But for some unknown reason, mustard is my go-to. Even more than pickles, I was on a pickle kick for a little while. Um, but now it is mustard, yellow mustard. I don't know what it is. I did read somewhere that um, that you're low, maybe you need, I think it was calcium or something. I forgot. But if anybody has any uh, inkling what is going on, that would be great to let me know. Or if you've also craved mustard, that would also be great to know. Um, so that has been my go-to today. I'm actually going to prep some shrimp 
and I'm gonna make a cheese pizza with shrimp on top and some poblano peppers. I'm gonna just saute the poblano peppers and then the cheese pizza I make, that's actually the crust. I just sprayed down a pan with some pan. Um, I heat it up really hot. I put like maybe two ounces of shredded cheese on it and I leave it at a high heat until it starts crisping and then I lower it and I put the toppings on top of it, which will be the sauteed probably onions, poblanos, and some cut up shrimp. And I'm gonna put that on top, put a tiny bit more cheese, and then I just cover it and take it off the heat. And it just crisps up nice, like a, just a thin crust pizza with no crust. Um, and then I have like marinara sauce if I wanna dip it on the side. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do today, but I've been prepping like crab meat and mayo and onion and celery. I have prepped like, um, little mini hot dogs, and I had um, some chicken soup. We made chicken soup yesterday, so I've been sipping on the broth. My husband and I are both sick. He's been on antibiotics. He has a sinus infection, and we're really trying to work against time because he's leaving for the military for five and a half months straight on October 30th. So a week from this coming Tuesday, he is leaving. I am dreading it. I am trying not to think about it. He's on vacation. His last day of work um, technically was today. Um, physically, I should say. Technically, it's after his vacation. Um, the 29th, I believe, is his last day. But he has all vacation next week, um, which will be great. We're going to do things during the day together. And then that weekend, Saturday, Sunday, his parents are coming into town from New York City, and they'll be with us that weekend. And then they'll be with us Monday. The kids will go to school as usual because I don't want to take them out of their routine. And then Tuesday, the day I bring him to the airport, his parents will come with me. The kids are going to go to school. We're going to just mention it up until Monday, do our thing Monday. And then Tuesday, try not to mention it. Um, before they go to school. So that way they, um, makes me cry, see? <laughs> so hard when you have kids, you know. So they'll be just their normal routine. And so we'll bring them to the airport, drop them off, That'll be a really difficult day for me on Tuesday. Um, that's the 30th, the day before Halloween. Um, of course, the kids still want to go trick-or-treating on Halloween. I really didn't want to because I just feel like I'm going to be so sad. <sighs> but I'm going to totally do it for the kids. <sighs> Which is an NSV being skinny now because prior I would have said... <sighs> Um, no, I'm tired. I don't want to walk. My husband in the past has always been the one that's taken them trick-or-treating and stuff like that. So, um, it's definitely going to be hard, but I think once he leaves, like once Tuesday is done, I think I'll be so much better. I think it's just the anticipation of Tuesday. Then Sunday, prior to him leaving, we're having a going away party for him at our church, I reserve the building and the whole church is invited. There's like 230 members. This is the church. It's a church of Christ, non-denominational church that I have been a part of for 20 years, a little bit over 20 years. And so they're amazing. And so um, I reserve the building. And so we'll have a going away party. I have food and things like that. And uh, we'll decorate and stuff. So we'll have that for him. I have like, I'm going to have a little station made up where I'll have little um, index cards and they can write their favorite scripture out, all our friends, or uh, an encouraging message. And every day when I send him a letter, I'll put one in. So that way it'll be, um, you know, break the monotony of him being there. Um, I'll definitely have the kids make him pictures and send him pictures and, you know, Definitely be the stronger one so that way he will not have to worry about anything while he's there. Basic training is um, hard enough as it is. 
So if you guys can just keep him in your prayers, um, that he does all his physical things through the um, PT training and stuff that he has to do and tests and things, um, that will be great. Um, pray for him to get better. Um, I started getting sick about a week ago, so I went to the doctor's yesterday. I don't have a sinus infection, I don't think. they. I saw a brand new doctor, and he said that my throat is all inflamed. So he gave me a steroid uh, called prednisone and um, a cough suppressant type pill. Um, and so I have that, and I will. Um, I've been taking that. So if it's not better by tomorrow, I'm gonna call in again. Um, but you know, it hurts when I swallow really the the worst. So if you can pray for us to get better, and my four year old also has a really bad cold. Um, so next week will be really the week that we try to get a bunch of family stuff done, and and my husband and I will hang out during the day. We'll go to the gym because he's on vacation, so he'll come to the gym with me every morning. Um, and I think we'll do a couple of hikes and go out to dinner, or not dinner, because the kids will be home, but go out to breakfast. This weekend, we're gonna do a lot of stuff with the kids because we live in Western Massachusetts and it's gorgeous here with the fall and the foli foliage and the nice fall crisp air. And there's pumpkin painting and pump pumpkin carving and hay rides and mazes and all that stuff. So that is gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, so that's really what I've been craving a lot lately is just the lunch meat or the cheese with the mustard. Um, I, yeah, I'm not really, I'm trying to think what else I've been eating. Um, bacon and eggs still. Um, I really like the bacon and eggs. I've been averaging calories about 1,300 to 1,600 depending uh, during the day because I'm going to the gym. I'm rocking out about maybe 12,000 to 15,000 steps a day. I'm moving my body almost an hour every day. I'm doing the Watch Kitty Shrink um, Jess's Challenge. I'm doing that hashtag move 88 and 18. Um, so every day I'm moving at least 15 minutes. I usually get about an hour a day um, activity, lifting weights and things like that. Um, I was feeling like when I got on the scale today and it was 176, I was still feeling like, ugh, I feel so lumpy and clunky and bloated and, but I'm really not, but it's just how you feel. It's kind of a mental thing. But then I went to my, um, kids, uh, pediatrician's office to pay a bill. And while I was in there, of course I walk in and there's this really sweet receptionist, uh, who has been there forever. And she's seen me only like a month and a half ago, maybe, but I walk in and her hands go over her mouth. <gasps> You know, I can't believe it, you know, and so she's so complimentary and she's telling me that I must be at goal. I told her I got like 15, 20 pounds left. She's like, where are you going to get it from? And listen, you all know in the weight loss surgery community, you're going to get this that like as if we're too skinny to lose the weight. But we have it. I have it in my legs, my my upper legs. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, a lot of um, what do you call it? Uh not lunges, but uh, squats. I've been doing a lot of squats. I've been doing the machine that works the front of your thigh and the back of your thigh. I've been doing that a lot. I lift weights and do machines every day, Monday through Friday, after I walk and run for about, I do it for like 30 to 40 minutes, uh, really fast pace on the um, treadmill. So that's kind of what's going on with me. That's kind of the uh, gist of everything. Um, yeah, I'll come back and update you guys as days go on. If there's anything that I'm going to update you on, or maybe I'll even, uh, videotape, um, me doing the pizza later on with the cheese crust. Uh, maybe some of you are interested in that, but again, if you guys have any questions or you have any ideas or you wanted me to do something, um, like what I eat in a day or something like that, let me know. Thanks. Bye.